This episode of the Weekly Update is brought to you by Tayer for the best in on-campus and off-campus dining. Download the Tap & Go app today and place your order before class ends. For catering services, call Anita at 442-8297. Hi everyone and welcome to the FCC Weekly Update brought to you by the Student Activities Office and Graphic Communication Program. In this episode we'll bring you the events happening on campus during this week of April 20th through the 25th. My name is Calvin. And I'm Suzette. And this is Tracy. Hi Tracy. Alright, on Monday students can learn how to play badminton courtesy of Asian American Month activities. Stop by the practice gym from 12 to 2 p.m to learn how to play, have fun, or just go to make new friends. All right, sounds awesome, Suzette. And on Tuesday, stop by the student lounge and meet fellow students running for the student government. The Associated Student Government Candidates Forum meeting will begin at 1.30 p.m. Get the candidates' view on leadership and what they hope to accomplish this next year at FCC. All right, Calvin, sounds good. Tuesday evening, there is a community symphony orchestra concert in the old administration building Auditorium at 7.30 p.m. Jeffrey Sanderizer will conduct Anton Bruckner's Symphony No. 4 E-flat major entitled Romantic. Student tickets are just $6, guys, and they can be purchased at the door for your convenience. Sounds fantastic, Susan. Absolutely, Suzette. Calvin. On Wednesday, it's going to be Pride Day at FCC, and the Diversity Club has a lot of fun planned in the free speech area from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will be a non-profit booth set up and a couple of performances, so be sure to check out the free speech area, guys. Right on. Wednesday evening, the Fresno City College World, World, World Woodwind Choir, directed by Larry Honda, will present its annual spring concert in the old administration building auditorium at 7.30 p.m. And guess what? Admission is free. Three? Free. Free, not free. All free. What? All right. And on Thursday, guys, the Asian American Month Vendor Fair will begin setting up on the campus mall in advance of Saturday's large Asian cultural festival that draws over 1,500 guests to the campus. Be sure to check the Asian craft vendors that travel for Saturday's big cultural festival. Wow. They travel far away, huh? <laughs> also happening on Thursday is a comparative analysis of Native American and Chinese values and worldview in the OAB Room 251 at 11 a.m. Panelists include Dr. Bernard Navarro and Asian American History Instructor John Cho with Paul Gilmore as moderator. So be sure to check it out and gain some new perspectives. All right, sounds great, Suzette. And happening on Saturday, as you and I both know, oh, yeah. it's going to be Asian Fest at FCC with a full day of live entertainment, anime fun, and lots of food. Asian Fest begins at 9 a.m. with cultural demonstrations and performances in the fountain area beginning at 10 a.m. The martial arts hour starts at 11 a.m. with the main show at noon in the free speech area. The kids' area will feature crafts and origami, so you'll, have to, you'll want to bring the whole family for food, fun, and lots of entertainment this Saturday at FCC. The event and parking are going to be free, guys, so why not check it out, you know? There What's, is what so lose? much free stuff going what? on. Take advantage, people. Well, guess what? On the Sports Patrol this week, there's going to be three games happening. On Tuesday, the Rams have a badminton game against the Trojans from Skyline College at 3 p.m. going down in the gym. There is also a Ram baseball game scheduled at 3 p.m. against the Porterville Pirates over at Euless Field. And on Friday, the Rams play the Merced Blue Devils at 6 p.m. So, go Rams! <laughs> All right, sounds great, Suzette. Well, guys, there's a lot happening on campus this week, so we hope you get out and try something new. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week on this weekly update. Go, Go Rams! Rams.